we decided to focus on spatial three and a half years ago. Uh, that was the time that uh, we had been working a lot with single cell data and I realized that um, the tissue contact uh, is very important uh, to make the good sense of uh, the biology that we can, uh, can get out of the, the single cell data. We're really interested in understanding upon doing a tissue section of our organ of interest, where did all of those cells come from on a clonal level? Which of those cells three weeks ago or three months ago contributed to the tissue we're looking at now? You have this key question about what is the, the local environment, you know, for want of a better word, the microenvironment those cells exist in and what is the physical relationship between, between you know, the cells and their, you know, and their genomic uh, interactions with one another. When we saw Visium data with like uh, 10 times higher in terms of resolution, that really uh, made uh, us think that, uh, yeah, th that's where we can explore the biology. And so if we can then, in a spatial context, understand how and where tissues form, whether it be a normal tissue or a cancerous tissue or in an inflamed setting, all of those things, if we can understand how those single cells are interacting in their native environment, I think that give us great insights both into basic biological questions and clinically relevant questions.